Hello, I'm the GBA guy, and today I'm going to be talking about an interesting topic I found out uh, about a week ago online, is that Miles Morales will be taking over for Peter Parker in the new Marvel continuity as Spider-Man. Personally, I really do not mind this in the comics. The only thing I'm angry about is the fact that they're getting rid of the Ultimate Universe, which I feel is Marvel's area where they get to experiment with their characters without either irritating fans, drastically messing with the main continuity, and you know that, that's really all I think on that. But with um, with Miles Morales taking over as Spider-Man, I have no problem with that. I don't care really who is Spider-Man, just as long as they keep Peter Parker alive in the continuity and we don't get a repeat of Superior Spider-Man, which I cannot stand. But, again, I really don't mind. But the part that really irritates me is all of the people calling for Miles Morales to be in the movies. First off, I have no problem with Sp him coming to the Marvel Cinematic Universe at some future time, and him not being put in the role has nothing to do with his race at all. I'd, I'd like to make that clear. I just think that for the Miles Morales character to be properly introduced into the Marvel movies, we need to get a proper Peter Parker movie that fits into the Marvel Universe. Because, like in the comics, Miles Morales will have to fill the role in the void that is left by Peter Parker's death. The problem with putting him straight into a Spider-Man role is that you haven't established that he needs to fill that role, and I just really think that they'd be cutting out a lot of his character by not including Peter Parker, which in my opinion is still the best Spider-Man. I, I, I haven't read any of Miles Morales' story arcs yet, really. I, I've, I've read up on his character, though, and I will definitely be reading it. But another related article to that included that about the Sony leaks where email said that Spider-Man had to be quote-unquote uh, straight and white. I'd like to state that for anyone who doesn't have enough common sense that this is clickbait. I mean, just grade A clickbait. I mean, look, it was taken out of context, first of all. The whole article... the or email that was leaked, essentially said that, yeah, you can't change his character, which I agree that you know, Spider-Man shouldn't really be messed with, because we all know what happens when movies decide to alter parts of the characters. Van Forstick! Cuff cuff! Uh. Anyways, if people want a new character that is more diverse, which I have no problem with having a vast amount of diverse characters, then just make a new one and then support that so much that it becomes popular. Don't try to change what we already have because we have characters that are perfectly fine. They're not offensive to anyone. Well, there may be. I, I don't know. But characters like Superman, okay? We, we shouldn't really mess with his character too much just because he isn't diverse doesn't mean we have to change his character. Make a new one. Do do some original stuff with other characters. Make new characters that you don't have to drastically alter what people already like. I'm the GBA guy. I will see you next week.